So it's an odd one. Um, you, as you said, when we, you had that interview and you played the, the brief extract of the interview that you'd done with Ron Rash um, about the book, um, I hadn't read the book when I saw the film. I've just started reading the book since then, actually, because you had said, and I was surprised by how much more brutal at the beginning the book is. Um, <clears throat> what you get with uh, Serena is the sense that there is another film in there somewhere. Um, essentially, they made this before Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence became the hottest screen couple as a result of Silver Linings Playbook and, uh, you know, American Hustle. And so there was, uh, Suzanne Beers, who's a brilliant uh, director, incidentally, is meant to have spent uh, 18 months in the editing room and then there's been another sort of year of, uh, of fiddling around. When you finally get to see the film, as I said in that interview, to me it looks like a kind of ripe romantic melodrama about this guy who's, you know, working in the logging industry and he meets this woman with whom he falls in love and they have this completely, you know, uh, overpowering relationship but she is stronger than him. She proves herself the master of both horses and men whilst he seems to be a kind of slightly enfeebled character. She starts to play Lady Macbeth, and between them, they kind of fall into this strange, barren derangement. And it, this is done against the backdrop of Depression-era Smoky Mountains, in which there are a number of incidental characters with a very, very fine supporting cast, of whom, it should be said, you see suspiciously little. Now, my sense, and I, Suzanne Beer has been very, very sort of tight-lipped about this and hasn't really talked about what's happened. My sense of it is this. When they originally made the film, we know for a, step, for a start there were, there were scenes made that are, not, that are not in the film. That always happens in the production. But I suspect that when they originally made it, it had a more communal sense. It was more to do with the community around the two central characters. But as a result of them, them becoming the sort of the, the draw they are, that it's all been sort of drawn down to their character, which means that you do get things like... Like, you know, Toby Jones himself is there, but not not as much as you'd like him to be. And this Reese Vance character, who you don't quite understand, who suddenly finds himself violently bonded to the Serena character. There is a lot of stuff around the sporting edge that suggests that there's a broader, more expansive film, which is more rooted in the landscape, although it's, I think it's shot in the Czech Republic. It's more rooted in that backstory that's in Ron Rash's novel, at least what of Ron Rash's novel I have read so far. So what you're left with now is a sort of right romantic melodrama. And on the good side, I think that um, Jennifer Lawrence is terrific. I think that she plays the part really well. It's a, you know, she's a single-minded uh, woman who sort of falls into slightly, as I said, Lady Macbeth style derangement. She's the master of, you know, she's the equal of anyone around her when Pemberton turns up and he says, this is my wife and you have to treat her like, you think, yeah, believe me, she's absolutely your equal. On the other hand... You Although it's interesting they said it's pre-Hunger Games, Jennifer. It was, they'd filmed it, but it was just about to become huge. No, yeah, Hunger Games had uh, Hunger Games was just coming out, but it's pre... But, but And, yes, Hunger, cause Hunger Games came... They shot in 2012. Hunger Games came out in March 2012. Silver Linings Playbook comes out in November. But it's Silver Linings Playbook that makes... I mean, she was, she was you know, Jennifer Lawrence was already Jennifer Lawrence from Winter's Bone. All that, so, so she had a profile, but it was the pairing of her and Bradley Cooper. That was the key issue. Um... And lost my thread. And yes, no, it's fine. So you get this kind of siren like performance from her. On the other hand, from Bradley Cooper's point of view, and this was something that you and I talked about immediately after the film, his performance seems not, there's not enough grit under the fingernails. There's not enough that he's, it's an oddly clean looking performance from him. So there's a slight imbalance in the central relationship that you believe her sort of siren like call. She's, you know, walking through these forests, calling upon an eagle, which she brings with her, you know which is there to sort of to, to, to deal with the snakes and the whole thing becomes very sort of symbolic also he has this strange relationship with an elusive panther no really in which during the course of the movie you know she's out there with the eagle and he's off with the panther and so there's a lot of stuff going in it and you get the feeling watching the film that it's been kind of pulled in that it's been sort of reined in to make it much more about if you look at the poster for example the poster is their two faces and it's sold entirely as a romantic love story and as i said in terms of what has and hasn't been changed this is all totally speculative because susan beer has not talked about at least to the best of my knowledge um what actually happened in that 18 months but i think that good stuff is the cinematography is uh, very uh, very haunting very evocative does both the land Landscape and the faces very well. The soundtrack is rather bland. Um, I wanted to hear the sort of twang that you got in a film like Winter's Bone to, you know, to situate you there in the Smoky Mountains. The supporting cast is terrific, but I have to say suspiciously underused. Jennifer Lawrence, I think, a really strong siren-like 40s melodrama, you know, women's picture performance. Bradley Cooper, not so much, not as convincing. And the whole thing 
has an air of having been oddly compromised, but it's hard to tell exactly what it would have been had it just been allowed to run its normal course. 